Yoda's up my heart. I mean, this is another YouTube video coming back at you with a new video, a new material from none other than King of the Night. Feast of Mads on the X-Turk. Now, let's get right to the question I usually get on Twitter. As, but, uh, rega uh, regarding a Final Fantasy topic and not none of the games, the card game. I always get, how come you never play pro? Or never go to c tournaments? Or never even compete in the Crystal Cup? And I got one simple answer, and I'm eating pizza. Delivery. Mm. But the simple answer is my deck's not prepared enough. I still need a f I still need a few cards to make my Vincent deck run as fast as any Cloud of Darkness or Zanad or any kind of archetype that's out or Wall deck. Especially since wool decks are like the biggest pain in the tournament circuit right now. I need something to counteract it, so I need to put an Emperor in my Vincent deck. And I need some cards that stops from summon, summons and other kind of other kind of abilities. Then I can probably compete in the competitive scene for Final Fantasy TCG. So pretty much what I'm trying to say is, I stay out of tournaments because my deck isn't prepared. And I want to pay $20 to enter a tournament. Even though I like the promos they give, I'm kind of jealous of the people who were able to get the Vincent Valentine, the hero Vincent Valentine promo alternative art. I actually want one of those in my decks. You know. But, I'm not going to enter the Crystal Cup because. Or any big tournaments for a while. Not only to get my funds set up, but I want my decks to be good. If I'm going to pay real money to play people, I want to actually be able to be good. At least be able to take out two, two decks, at least, at most, to be able to take out two, you know, two big, you know, two big archetype decks. And why I say that is. My deck isn't good enough right now. Number two, I want to make sure that I can run my Vince deck because that's the deck I want to plan to run. You know, I want to make sure I can still be able to play it with the up-to-date format. Because the problem with Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh bans cards so they can sell more cards. Magic, you have to play with a new archetype, meaning you have to buy new structure decks, spend more money, Need more cash on new decks, and I want to make sure that once I complete my Vincent Valentine deck, I can play both casual and pro. If I'm gonna go pro, another reason why I don't uh, play competitively is for the Final Fantasy TCG. Holy shit, that scared the fuck out of me. That scared the fuck out of me. Oh shit. Okay. So we got some paranormal activity up in this house. But anyways, back to the subject. But you know, back to the you know back to the subject. Um. Also, I don't want to have to buy a new deck once I complete the Vincent Valentine deck because it might take me a year or a couple years because I still have to get the new cards. I still have to get the Emperor. I still have to get some of that Black Summons. And there's also new bits of bounce on cards coming out as well. So I have to get the updated bits of bounce times to go with my old set. Meaning that I'm going to have to switch out more cards and stuff like that. And then I want something that blocks summons. That makes summons almost you know impossible to play as well. And as well something that can block a wall deck as well in that deck but also besides the updated stuff I gotta make sure there's no banned cards not only that I gotta make sure that all my opponents are fair and one thing I've noticed about card games and not everybody does this I don't see none of this stuff from the Final Fantasy trading card game community matter of fact I think everyone in the Final Fantasy trading card game community 
is upstanding and they have morals. As a matter of fact, when you have cards, we have cards that can draw cards. You're supposed they force you in tournaments to show your opponent what you just drew, so you you know you can't cheat. And say no, I got this card and I can use this ability. You know. But I've had troubles with Yu-Gi-Oh where people have cheated as well. Stack their decks. Um. You know, stack their decks with stack their decks so they can get better cards. I also experienced, um, you know, people slipping in stuff. I, one duelist in Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments when I used to play, like pro Yu-Gi-Oh, is that someone would have a side deck right behind the front deck, so all you saw was the front deck, so they could just slip in the card without you noticing it, and then they could just shuffle when you cut the deck. It looks like it's part of the deck, and then they get it in there. But, you know, you, I also got to make sure of that, and if I'm going to pay money, I, at least I want to be able to win at least a couple rounds. I don't need to place at all. Another thing, too, I'll play, like, the Crystal Cup at Collector's Cash or anything like that once I complete my deck and stuff like that. I'll do that, but at the same time, I mean, at the same time, I'm not going to go to California unless I know I'm good. I'm not going to go to California to play Final Fantasy trading card game unless I know. Unless I deeply know. I'm not going to invest money and time to be professional when I'm not at that level. I mean, I've been missing the city in terms of because real life. You know, I do have a life. You know, even though I may not look it because some people say that I'm just a sad man child. They, you know, doesn't, you know... That's also weed, I'm which I'm not. You know, I do have a life, so I can't always go play every day of the Final Fantasy trade card game all the time. So, also practice time would also be practice time would also you have to practice every day. Cause there's gonna be points that know everything in and out, what every card does. How to counter that card. What cards to use against the card. So you have to practice strategies over and over until you get the strategy that you're most confident in. And to play in California, you have to be super good. You have to be super, super good. I want to say my Final Fantasy trade card game play, play style is the same as my Fortnite, where like in Fortnite I suck at the game. But, you know, I'm not going to go around saying I'm the best Final Fantasy TCG player. Matter of fact, I'm still learning. Shane's still teaching me some stuff. And I still got more cards I need to put in the deck to make it complete. And once I make it complete, it's not only about putting cards in the deck. You have to, you have to know everything about it. You have to keep practicing. So I play with my best friends. I play with my, my regular group of friends I hang out with and Steel Sky in order to keep my deck up, in order to keep my strategies up. Now, I will obtain, I will obtain a Crystal Cup one of these days. I, I'm not going to say I will never, you know, I will one day attempt a Crystal Cup. You know, it's too late for that Vincent promo. I will still attempt one, just to have fun. But that's another thing too, I play this game for fun, just like every other TCG and video game. I really play for fun. I try to be competitive in like the city. It just never worked out. I never did so. Why well, disappoint myself when I could just play for fun, learn stuff, compete when I feel like competing? Now maybe if I took a trip to California already, and I've already trained already. You know, such as a, a vacation at California, I might, let's just say a family vacation happens, I might see if Green will drop me off to the uh, official Final Fantasy TCG, you know, tournament. Well, I think, and that's another thing too, I think you have to be qualified as well. I think with that, like every other TCG, you have to be qualified too. I mean, not everybody makes it. You know? It's like becoming a SoundCloud rapper, an actor. Don't go to make it. 
Go to have fun. Do things to have fun. Don't worry about getting pro. Don't worry about becoming the best. That will come instant as much time you invest in what you're doing. So those are my reasons why I don't go pro in the Final Fantasy training card game. And may the crystal be with you. Let me know in the comments if you play Final Fantasy training card game. What decks you use. What strategies you use. Whether you play pro or casual.